Good morning, everybody. Today, we're gonna to be vlogging from home. And some of you guys may not know this, but we have been renovating our bathroom for a very long time now. And today, we're gonna to be working on that. So let's go have a look and see how it's coming along. Started framing in the shower. So here's where our shower door is going to be. And then this is like a little half wall. It's gonna be glass up here. And then this will be a little cubby where we'll keep shampoo and stuff like that. I'm gonna move the shower controls over here. We're gonna have a shower head here that sprays out. And then we're gonna have one in the ceiling that blows down. Today I've got to do more plumbing, because as you can see, there's no plumbing here. There's no plumbing for the, the sink or the toilet, so I have to stub those out today. Just got to drill right through that little spot right there and go underneath the house and connect the plumbing. Should be a fun day. I also determined that I'm going to cut this down here and replace all of this with PVC. Yeah, that already looks cleaner and better. And it'll fit behind the drywall better too, because the cast iron had these knuckles on it that would make it stick out from the drywall a little bit. So. This is better. If I can offer you one bit of advice about running plumbing with PEX, it's don't buy the roll of PEX. Buy the straight ones because uh, it's very difficult to work with when you can't get it to go straight and it's all bent. So right now, Tim is actually like right under these pipes right here. So we were just trying to figure out if these could be straightened out anymore. What? Oh, I'm talking to the camera. Say hi. Okay, he's working. <laughs> um, but we were just trying to see if these could be straightened out anymore. They really can't because there's like a joint in the pipe up here that you can't see behind this piece of wood. And I guess they could be straightened out just slightly, but not by much because they're kind of, like they look like they're wiggly, but they're not. They're kind of stuck in that sort of curved position. I don't know, it's weird. And we were also trying to figure out which of the pipes under here was hot and which one was cold. So I was just standing here, he's like right, under this right here. So we were just trying to speak through the floorboards to figure out which one was hot and which one was cold. I think we figured it out. And here's a little intermission of the little baby bean searching for a place to pee. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> now I can see why you guys are missing these home vlogs. <laughs> but no, seriously, um, here's Banda. He's doing really good. He's very happy today, very active. So I turned the water back on and everything looked good. So now Tim is handing me some stuff from under the house. These? Yep. This metal one or just these two? That's two. Okay. But, oh, all right. <laughs> everything looked good and it worked. So Tim did a good job. And now we're gonna go meet him by the opening. And there's the old car. Hey, old car. All right, so if my calculations are correct, we should be coming out of this hole. I'm actually gonna link some other videos where we did some other DIY stuff where we had to go under the, the house. It was pretty exciting stuff. Do you see him? I can definitely hear you, but I can't see you yet. Oh, you can't? No, I can hear you. Oh, whoa, what's that? That's all my bag of stuff that I used. You're like Santa. Oh man, I wish you could see how stuck I am right now. Oh no, do you need my help? No, I'm just, there's a very tight spot underneath the center of the house. Uh oh. And it's very hard to get under. There he is. Hi. Hello. Let me know if you need my help. Okay. Oh. You did it. <laughs> All right. That's the worst. Nice work. I like how your back looks like um like a zebra, like a purple zebra print. Oh. Everybody's <laughs> like, Tim, do you work at Publix? No, they're just the ones that sponsored the op opening of uh, Orlando City. Orlando City's new stadium. Yeah. That's what I got a free shirt when I went one time. I think I'm done. Done working under the house today? Done working on the house today. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, okay. You've actually been working for the past two days. Yeah. We didn't film it yesterday, but. Well, I showed them the little framing that I did. Nice. But yeah, nice work. Here's the test. I think it's working. Yeah? Yeah. What makes you say that? I don't see any water anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Where would we see it? At the joint. So like the where behind these. So like there. Okay. And do you see it? What if it's like one of those things where it's really slow over time? I mean, we would still see water. Okay. I'm just making sure. All right. I'm pretty excited. It's really starting to take shape. What do you guys think? I wish we could show you the finished like our idea, but I don't think we even know what our idea is yet. Oh, no. <laughs> Just got out of the shower, feeling good, 
Uh, I'm in front of the clock. I don't know if this time is right. I haven't checked the batteries in a real long time, but I think it's correct. We're gonna spend the night home. Hooray, home vlog. <laughs> that was like Dolby Digital, right? Yeah. Like the, the THX. THX, yeah. <laughs> All right, so do you guys ever have that thing of when you need to make dinner, but Okay, you need to clean out your sink first wash all your dishes and You're hungry right now like I'm about to make this spicy chicken quesadilla from Blue Apron Which we've been using Blue Apron for a little bit I don't recommend it honestly because every single time that we get a box Something is missing or something is totally rotten and has like like gotten all weird and gooey inside of the box So I don't really recommend this however it is easy, so we just haven't canceled it yet. <laughs> but but so I was getting ready to make this because we're hungry. Oh, <laughs> there you are. Oh, well, the cabinets are open. <laughs> well, because I was I was telling them I was putting the dishes away, because also I needed to put the dishes away from in the dishwasher. But do you ever have that thing of where sorry, <laughs> of where you want to eat like right now? You're hungry. You want to make your blue apron thing. But also you're hungry right now, so you're just gonna go to Taco Bell and pre-eat and then eat dinner. Pretty, which is called lunch. Oh, but it's late. <laughs> it's like almost dinner time. Yeah, but we'll just eat dinner much later. Okay, well, it's I like guess a late it's, lunch. I guess, what is, is this dinner? I guess we're going to eat lunch. Never mind. Forget all of this. But you never heard any of this. It's just lunch. Yeah. Here's the problem with going underneath the house. You get stuff in your eyeballs, and it hurts. <laughs> oh, no. So now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this eyeball is in a lot of pain right now. Let me see. Oh, that's the. Okay, so. He told me to look at his eye and I was like, I don't see anything. But then I saw this thing. It almost looked like something flew off of your eye. Aliens. Like it was maybe, maybe aliens. Maybe aliens. Who's to say it's not aliens? I mean, probably at least four or five people. <laughs> hey bandit, oh. what you doing? You laying like a, like a seal? I want to see my little boy. There he is. Yeah. Sometimes you, uh, you order too many things at Taco Bell. Well, oh, look, there's some but, trash in here, too. But I also, the other thing that was kind of cool is that this, what I ordered, I didn't even know this was a thing. It's like the, the fancy box? No, it's called the Cravings Deal, and it's $5, and I only really wanted this cheesy gordita crunch, which Sorry, is... Bandit was, like, licking his lips, and I was going like, to <laughs> zoom in on him. Because but... I had this in my hand from my straw, and I think he thought it was, like, a, oh. a T word. But it's not. So... This was five bucks, but I got a drink and a cheesy gordita crunch, which is basically five bucks. And then I got these three things for free. Yeah. I didn't even know that combos were a thing at Taco Bell. Apparently, yeah. And Tim got a combo too. The, in here somewhere is a combo. <laughs> I got these rolled tacos. These things are awesome. They're what? like they're like chicken that's just been wrapped in a Dorito. Wait, is it really good? Yeah, do you want to try it? What do you dip it in? It's spicy ranch. Mm, yeah. Another thing that we figured we would kind of catch you up on, since we haven't done one of these in a while, is we've been watching a lot of the show Medium. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen this show. I've watched a few episodes like in the past, but um, also I have food on my face. Sorry. But we really like this show. It's really good. It's like a sci-fi crime drama, kind of, because she's like a psychic who sees dead people. She's a medium. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the show, but uh, it's good. If you haven't watched it, you should watch it. It's on Hulu. I don't know if you don't have Hulu, I don't know what channel it's on, but we like it. We've been watching a lot of it. So here it is. Part of the reason why we went oh, we went to Taco Bell was to get a, a chicken quesadilla because what I'm going to make from Blue Apron is a chicken quesadilla. So let's see if Taco Bell is better than just making your Blue Apron meal. <laughs> what do you guys think? No. It's not better? I know I haven't had the Blue Apron meal yet, but this is not good. I told you it wasn't going to be good. We were supposed to get the mini chicken quesadilla because it has the different chicken and the different cheese. How bad is it? Not horrible. <laughs> but it's not good. Not good, no. Let's, let's take a gander at it. Let's see, what do we look like? First of all, I don't like that they serve it in this thing because then it just gets soggy. It almost looks like there's macaroni and cheese in there. What? Yeah. Let's... Whoa. Oh, I don't like the sauce. So here it is. And one thing I don't like is that they put like sauce in there with it. Also, this chicken does not look good. 
But I was just curious to see if like instant gratification fast food is better than actually waiting and like making a better meal. How hungry like are you? Are you hungry enough to eat bad food quicker? Or are you hungry enough to eat good food with like a little bit of a wait? What do you think, Bean? <laughs> I think he just wants any food. <laughs> so I had some of this quesadilla. It's not bad. I don't hate it. I don't like love it, but I don't hate it. The sauce is actually kind of good. I, I said two seconds ago that I wasn't gonna like the sauce, but I do like the sauce. So hmm, I guess we'll just have to see later on how good our Blue Apron taco quesadilla. We're taco? not gonna make that Blue Apron. I'm like, I'm so full. Look at this. this Are we never me. gonna make it? This is me right now. Oh no. Are we just gonna lay on the couch and watch silly movies? Yeah. Okay, I like that. Like boss baby. Ooh, show them our new pillow. Yeah, check it out. Black Friday deal. What, what? $11 pillow. We're supposed to get another one, but it never came. <laughs> so now we just have one, one couch pillow. All right. Somebody took my spot when I went up to use the bathroom. So Jen really wants me to do a face mask. I don't know why she wants me to do a face mask, but she really wants me to do a face mask. So we're gonna do a face mask tonight. Uh, uh, I think she wants me to put on one that makes me look like Mike Wazowski. Fresh mash time! <laughs> <laughs> Jen's eating uh, gummy vitamins mm -mm. and I started recording. Getting my vitamin on. When she wasn't ready yet. Okay, so Here it is. this is a face mask from one of you guys and it's like an extra one. So I'm gonna do a different one. But I thought this one would be fun for two. You're not gonna do a Mike Wazowski one? I, I don't have two. Oh. I just thought this would be cool for you. You're gonna you know, do one that makes you look like a ridiculous cartoon character? <laughs> I'm not, but it's I'm using a real face mask, like an actual thing. This isn't a real face mask? Well, but it's not like... Why am I even doing this? It's for fun. What do you think of the smell? Oh, it smells really bad. Why? What do you... It really does smell bad. Well, I mean, but it's like... It smells like, like, uh, chemicals. Maybe I shouldn't have had you smell it first. <laughs> What are you gonna put on my face? Well, it's just for like collagen. Like it's gonna make your face like hydrated. Is it gonna make my face fat? Well, no, it's like a, it's like a, like it might help your, your fine lines in your crow's feet. That's what I'm thinking it will help. I don't think it's gonna do anything. Well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> this seems like the scariest idea ever. Oh my God. What? Oh, oh, it's in my eyeballs. No, it's not. It's not? Well, <laughs> It won't be, hold on. I'm trying to get the nose part. You got a big schnoz, so it doesn't really fit your nose. Oh. I didn't, I forgot about your mustache. Oh no. <laughs> um, it smells like this because it's skincare. Oh, it smells terrible. But it, it just smells a little bit funny. <laughs> what? It smells like spray paint. No, it doesn't. <coughs> this is frightening. Okay. Okay. Now how, how long do I leave this on? 10 minutes. Ten minutes. Well, it's twenty, but I'm. Oh I my cut gosh. It in well, because you're, you're being a baby. So what I the heck? <laughs> Why do people do this? Because it's supposed to make your skin like really soft and activate your like collagens. Yeah, like this what? is what I do when I wear my mask. I. Oh, I is do. it dripping in my eyeball? No. What? Oh, this part. Yeah. It's not. It's not dripping. It was just kind of. Oh. It moved down a little bit. Well, this is exciting. <laughs> Look at it up close. Let's see what it's doing. What is, is it? it? What is it doing? It's frightening. <laughs> I sincerely hope that you guys were not watching this episode with your children. Why? Because I can only imagine how frightened they are right now. No, no, they're like <laughs> Mike was asking. This does not look. It really looks like a crazy clown. Like, look, it's got these. I, that's what I said. I said you look like ICP. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I look like uh, like the Joker. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm putting on my mask. Really? So I'm using, uh, this is actually the one I was going to use on you, but I thought you might hate it. Um, but I'm using the Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask, which was actually sent to us by Kareen. So thank you so much because I love this. And I still have some left, which is exciting. Oh, but also if I leave this open for too long, it starts to bubble the inside. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah, so I have to be like really fast, which I'm not. Oh no, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I just I'm ruining this. No, no, no. You're, you make everything better, but <laughs> in this case... I gotta be quick. So what you're saying is, I make everything better. <laughs> is that a Mike Wazowski noise? I think that a was voice? Roz. Oh. Always. Oh, is, there a, is there a Roz mask? I hope not. 
I hope there is. <laughs> I would wear that. I feel like the entire time that I'm wearing this mask, I don't want it to fall off, so I'm doing like this. Is it falling off? I guess it is kind of like coming down off of your forehead. I think I have too big of a forehead. I think your forehead isn't big enough. What? <laughs> it looks like somebody wants to take the mask off. Let's see. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, you look so hydrated. What? You do, you look so hydrated. I look sweaty. Well, that's hydrated. I do that a lot. Well, now rub it in with your hands. I'll take your, <laughs> your mask. Is this what I do? I just rub the sweat in? Well, I mean... It's not... very cold. Well, yeah, it's working. It was something to, like, help your collagen. Yeah, but what? what? I don't I don't know. I don't. I actually what does don't that know. What do you mean, help I don't my know. Collagen? I have no idea. I just wanted you to try a mask on because I thought you might like it. <laughs> do I look younger? Yeah. Oh, how much younger? Uh... Like five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Are you popping your bubbles? The only thing about this is that it keeps bubbling. Like, it'll never stop if you don't, like, take it off. Every day it's bubbling. So I think that's good and bad. Oh no. Oh, it's so close to your eyeball. I know, I can feel it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like this stuff, but I'm also like, it's really hard to take off. Also tonight, our good friends, Steffi and Dave, the Crispy S'mores, sent us over some advent calendars. So I'm excited to give these a try and open them up. They actually do this all through um, December leading up to Christmas on their channel. We'll put a link to their channel down in the description down below. I don't think we're gonna do it all the way through. We're just gonna open it up and eat the chocolates. <laughs> right? I it's, mean, it's like two little chocolate for one day. I think that's the point. You're like, <laughs> you just, we'll just eat it all. <laughs> right? That's not the point of an advent calendar. Is it though? I mean... What if you buy it late? Then you have to like catch up. We're, we literally got it on day we one. We got it on day one. It is day one of this calendar. Uh, I'm gonna eat them Maybe all. do a week. Oh, a week. Yeah, do one week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do a month. What? What are you doing? What are you doing, little stinky babe? He's like, oh, did, did somebody get some chocolate for me? No, no we didn't. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Wanted to give a big thank you out to Steffi and Dave. You look so creepy. <laughs> I'm sorry this entire video is just gonna be me laughing at you, but you, there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much to Steffi and Dave for thinking of us and for sending this over. This is really fun. We have never done an advent calendar on our channel or in real life. I've done one before, not, I mean like, not for the channel, but I've done one in real life. Oh. I used to do them all the time when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. Oh, well now we can do it together. We've never done now it together. Now we can do it together. So thank you guys so much for sending these over. This was really awesome. May be sure to check out their channel. Um, again, we will link it down below. But let's see what's what's our one treat that we get. Dude, so you've never done an advent calendar. So right. you have, there's like a whole thing that you have to do. What do you do? You do, on the first day of Christmas, my advent calendar gave to me. And then you open it. Uh, Piece Wait, that's not the right number. Oil. Oh, is that the right number? It says one right there. Why is it it's so out of order? That's how advent calendars work. What? You have Let to, like, me guess? show you the advent calendar world. <laughs> okay. It's a heart. I don't know, it's a Santa. It's so tiny. Yeah, I know. That's why we're going to eat a whole week. <laughs> oh, no. I feel like... I just ate that whole thing this... without even asking you. I know. What, what the heck? That's on the second day. <laughs> <laughs> Where's number two? That's what I don't understand. Why are they so out of order? Also, um, this is how you get ants. Like, you have to keep this thing for a whole month. Oh, mm -hmm. no, here's number two. You get to open number two. Okay. On the second oh, no, no, no. There you have to see how there's like a thing. No, right over here. <laughs> oh, no, I can't open this. It's too hard. It's childproof. Ooh. Oh, that one has a bell. Oh, ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. This one had an ornament. Let's see. Is it a bell? It is. Is it? Hold on, I gotta be like a beauty guru, except for a chocolate guru. It's too close to the camera. Ooh, is it a bell? I think it's a bunt cake. It's something. Mmm. Galaxy chocolate is pretty good. It's like we didn't even start yet. <laughs> on the first... Oh, the one is in a different spot. Oh, here it is down here. On the first day of Wait. Christmas. Can somebody t down below tell us, like, why they're out of order? Is it supposed to be, like, a secret surprise? What do you get if you cross a snowman and a shark? Um, what? Frostbite. 
<laughs> and does this have Maltesers inside of it? What's this thing? What? There's like a scary face underneath it. Oh no, this was like a, a Halloween calendar that they Kinda. repurposed. On the second day of Christmas. They don't have Maltesers inside of them. Oh, they're just chocolate? Good. Santa. Which guy? This guy right here. He's right there. He's a moose. He's right there. Yeah, well, he's the Malteser. Bandit. Uh, he really wants, you cannot have this bandit. I'm so sorry. Bandit, <laughs> this is not for you. I'll give him some treats. All gone. No, oh, I'll give him some treats. Who's a cute baby? Oh, somebody's a cute baby. It's the little stinky baby bean. Oh, did you see him try to bite me? I <laughs> know. So all night, he has just been laying in this big fluffy blanket with me. And it's been so nice, hasn't it? Yes, it has been so nice, little baby boo. Yes, we love that. That's what we love to do on Friday, don't we? <laughs> Look at that little stinky boy. That was all that he wanted. Look at that little guy. And his little spot on the couch with his little blanket. You're doing good, right? Everybody missed you, little baby bean. Let them look at you for a second. All right, there he is. He's doing good, you guys. Well, there you have it. This day has made me extremely tired. Yeah. Uh, my legs hurt. I'm tired. We watched a lot of Medium. We watched a lot of Medium? Uh, we did. <laughs> okay, so we watched Medium on Hulu, right? And we kept seeing the same commercial, which Hulu does that. I don't know why. It's terrible. I wish they would at least play, like, two commercials. Yeah. But, so they kept playing the Matthew McConaughey Wild Turkey. It was, like, for rum. It's a whiskey. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> but... At the end of the video, he he's sitting with this guy who's like singing this song. His name is Davey. He's very invested in this commercial. <laughs> but he kept like doing... He does a little finger dance. Yeah. Then he goes... So the next time we're like out at the club, because you know we, go to, we, we do that sometimes. I'm going to do the Matthew McConaughey finger dance. There's just one hand. Because oh. oh, he's, got, he, his, he's, he's got, the... got his whiskey in the other hand. Because <laughs> yeah. so... fireworks are going off. It was such a weird <laughs> commercial. This commercial makes no sense. Uh, let us know if you've seen this commercial on Hulu or somewhere else. I feel like it's not a real. Oh, I had a shiver. Sorry. Oh no. I feel like it's not like a real TV commercial. I feel like it's only on Hulu. I think it was directed by Matthew McConaughey. It's so weird. Which is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Wild turkey. It'll find you. So I'm super tired. <laughs> Ready to go to bed, yeah. and we will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. Do we look five minutes younger? I think we do. <laughs>